Hey everyone, welcome to yet another amazing time with me. I am diversifying. My name is Chacha Wabara. In case this is your first time meeting me, how are you? How are you? How are you doing? Okay, thank you so much for joining me today. I'm so so happy to have you here. So I'm diversifying, like I was about to say. I am, you know, going into movies. I don't want to like stay. You know, I don't want to be stereotyped like, oh, just Ninja movies, just Nollywood, or just Korean, or just um, Chinese movies, you know, or just European movies, or Hollywood. I just, any one, like I said, any drama, any movie that catches my fancy, and I feel I want to share with you, it, this is the corner, like, my life, or, how would I be living all those lives, Shasha? What I feel, you know, into these movies, I will share them with you. I will talk about it with you and I will have fun with it with you. If you are on Netflix, you would have seen Dark Desire, yeah? Yeah, correct. 2021, I saw Dark Desire season one. 2022, we're back again. I think it's a Mexican movie or Spanish movie, I think. <laughs> it's a movie that just takes over you. Now, apart from the this this movie, for obvious reasons, is rated 18 because there are a lot of X-rated scenes there. That was season one. The X-rated scenes, you know, would tend to make you not focus on the story itself. Now, if you're looking at season one, it talks about this lady who is a law professor. Or, yeah, her husband is a judge, and their child is trying to be a criminologist. Not really a criminologist. She wants to work with dead bodies, with cadavers. What they even call them? Again? I can't remember, but I, I would put it up there. Sorry. Now, she has this laid-back life. Not necessarily laid back. She had this passion with her husband and started to notice that her husband wasn't paying real attention to her anymore. And she's like, her husband is cheating on her. So she goes away, goes to see her best friend, who she recounts everything to him. And her best friend was like, you know what? That one is that her best friend is divorced. Okay. So she's like, you know what? Let's go clubbing. Let's go. And she's like, that's not why I came. Before I go for this conference, I just decided to like, you know, just chill out with you. I've not seen you in a year. What's good? What's going on with you? Blah, blah, blah. And she's like, don't worry, we'll chill. We will discuss, okay? Let's just go clubbing. Let's go, just, just you know, let your head down. You're really taking this marriage thing, mommy thing, you know, profession thing too seriously. Just let's relax. And she, they get there. Her friend starts dancing with younger guys. And she is a bit serious. And then she notices this guy who just keeps staring at her. Very handsome guy. Very hard to stay in this mystery, you know. She was just looking at him. And she tries to escape. And the guy now meets her and they start talking. But along the line, she's like, okay, you know what, let's just hook up. And they hooked up in her friend's house. And the passion was much. She was one, you know. And after everything that happened... I think she they used protection and later on did not but you know it was she just told him you know what she just thought it was fun that she was catching when she goes back to her husband's house that is it and she has you know distress she has removed the cobweb you know and ready to move forward and finds out that you know it's not as simple as she thought it was the guy she slept with turned out to be with someone who had it out for her husband because of her husband the judge person lost his father his father was in the only dead row for killing or for molesting and killing a little girl you know stuff like that so he was out so by the time she was back in school back in class lecturing again she sees this guy he comes in and incidentally he's a law student as well and he's in her class so they started hooking up you know on that gym now her husband got to know so many things happened found out that her brother-in-law had you know was obsessed with her and hired him to sleep with her that's one found out that her husband slept without her best friend that's two found out that you know by the time she got home the next thing she was hearing was her best friend had committed suicide so they were trying to determine whether it was true suicide or you know it was a murder but later on they saw that it was suicide but found out that her brother-in-law also slept with her best friend found out that this guy slept with her best friend as well <laughs> so uh, you know what she thought she knew she actually did not know anything and then to make matters worse when she told this guy that you know what i don't want to keep doing this with you i've 
gone back to my husband. We've made up, we've patched up, blah, 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 blah. He went and dated her daughter, this virgin that daughter. It was crazy. But the sick thing was that as much as she was upset, she still wanted this guy. Now, all of all those X-rated scenes whereby, you know, you really have to have your head screwed on or, or your neck or whatever to really be going with the movie because the, 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 the X-rated scenes were too much. We were trying to distract people from the main story. We got to the end. He kind of like um, faked his death and she mourned this guy like crazy. She and her husband got divorced, amongst other things. Now, this is season two. I'm like, okay, what have we got? Now, this season two showed that this guy, he left that place, that vicinity. He relocated to the States, and he now found this girl who is rich and all of that. He now is rich. Turns out that he now hired him, that her brother-in-law, who was jailed for his crimes, and he has come out. And... He was getting married. So now this lady sees that he is getting married to another girl, goes to go and tell the girl, you don't know this guy, this guy this, this, keep away from him, blah, 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 blah. Meanwhile, she's in this therapy section or, or class where women who have undergone in just love addictions and all that, you know, come for therapy. And there's this other lady too who dated this guy when he was 16 years. I think it was her mom. All of those sick things. So many things were happening at once. But get this. She went to warn the girl during a bachelor's party that see this guy, blah, 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 blah. And when he saw her, I don't know how they found themselves, you know, in the laundry room, the hotel down on the underground, and they hooked up there again. Like, she couldn't control herself when it came to this guy. She was addicted to this guy. Meanwhile, now, this girl has been killed. They threw her down from the hotel into the pool you know several so high up down into the pool and she died now the story is that okay they told her to come and meet the girl and before she got there the girl had died meanwhile this boy this guy you know was lying down there unconscious supposedly unconscious and she revived him and she helped him get away and all of that well later on all kinds of things started feeling itself it's a drama you need to see i can't tell you everything i think it has 18 episodes or what I, what made this drama unique for me was that apart from this x-rated scenes i wasn't really interested but they, at some point they got now it got too much and um it, it was distracting distracting in the sense that i wanted to follow like who killed who what's going on behind the scenes what's happening who is plotting what and what is not going there you know so it's a drama it's a new thing fresh air fresh breath you know a, a drama that is not that is neither korean chinese what will i call it now hollywood oriented but is giving you that thing especially hollywood it's like a, it's like a hollywood series you know no holds bad it's giving you everything that you want and that you expect to have with the 18 year like you know it's taking you it's working your mind even as you are getting entertained it's making you understand that you know there's more than meets the eye when you meet someone in relationships even you know one-on-one -on -one, joint business and all of that it's a drama that you know made me got me fixated at some point the guy was trying to act as if he was a twin or you know it was two different people so when he's when he's hooking up with her <laughs> in one way he behaves that way when he's hooking up with her in another way he behaves and so you know everyone just started getting confused that actually maybe there was a twin maybe it was the twin that you know killed the girl or this one that did this bad thing this other guy this other side maybe this is the good twin you know something like that it was intriguing suspenseful it's a drama that you want to see like I said for mature minds only it's a drama that would really keep you keep you at the edge of your seat something you can binge watch on alone and then um, you will enjoy watching it so which brings me to the end of this drama review but on a normal day it took me several weeks to be done with the drama because I wasn't really having it for me it was too vivid and um, ah okay 
uh, wasn't really worthy. I, I think the, the sexual scenes, the sexual connotations in the drama was too much for me. Made it, it not too okay for me to see. Like it was too much. I just wanted the nitty gritty of the story. But if a lot of you know all of that is steamy, steamy is what you like, you'll find this drama exciting to see which brings me to the end of this drama review i'll be rating it a 7 over 10 up there you see my korean movie reviews my chinese movie reviews my nigerian movie reviews and then again my movie reviews thank you so much for joining if you haven't subscribed please don't forget to subscribe before you leave and don't forget to post notifications to be alerted when new videos come up thank you so much for doing this with me thank you and if you've seen this drama leave your comment in the comment section down below I'll be looking forward to hearing from you. Hey, thank you so much. Bye.